Hello world, I know I haven't done anything in forever. I've been doing a lot of family visiting, and in fact, I'm going off to visit family again today, but I thought I'd make something before I left, and address one of the oldest Judeo-Christian myths, and that is the myth of original sin. Um, that is, we are born filthy, and must suffer for all eternity for the sins committed 5,000 years ago. The story goes as such. God created man, created woman from his rib, and gave them a beautiful lush garden to live in, a perfect paradise, as it's said, and told them that they could eat from any tree or any bush, but not the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So they went forth and did whatever people do in perfect paradise, and Eve is approached by a serpent who says that she should eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And she says, well, I, I couldn't possibly do that. God will kill me if I eat of the knowledge of good and evil. The serpent says, no, he wouldn't kill you, not if you eat from the tree of knowledge, for then you would be all-knowing, as they are, they, of course, meaning the gods. And she thought about it, went to the tree, checked it out, and the fruit looked good to eat. He said, the serpent, that is, the only reason God would not want you to eat from this tree is that God does not want you to have the knowledge that he has. So Eve eats the apple, or the fruit, we've come to know it as an apple, and takes it to Adam. Adam eats it. And when they are enlightened, the first thing they are noticing is that they are naked, and they make aprons of fig leaves. And then they hear God coming. Apparently God is a personified force and not a sky creature at this point in the Bible. So they hide in the bushes, hide from God, and God calls out to them and says, Where have you gone? And Adam says, Well, we ate from the tree of knowledge, so we're hiding from you. And then God curses them to toil under the sun, curses the woman to have horrible, painful birth, and uh, curses the serpent to be the most incursed of all creatures and crawl upon its belly for all eternity and casts them out of the garden and has an angel with a flaming sword guard the gates. And that's about the end of that story. But I thought it was very interesting, rereading it today, that God is such a jealous creature. It says later on in the Ten Commandments, I am a jealous God. God is a very human character in in the Judeo-Christian Bible. He's even personified in the New Testament, in the person of Jesus. And I think it's very interesting in, in contrast which it, with its sister religion, Islam, where God is this force so far removed from humanity, and within the Christian tenet, God is humanity. I also think it's very interesting that the sin for which we must suffer for all eternity, the sin which is supposedly, you know, all the fault of womankind and taints our soul forever, is simply the sin of knowing. And I'm personally, if this story is in any way true, even if not, I'm, I'm personally grateful to the Eve character for giving me the knowledge of good and evil, giving me the knowledge that God has. I don't particularly want to be a happy savage laying on branches and snacking on fruits and vegetables with legged snakes wandering around. I'm happy to be able to study the knowledge of the gods and the knowledge of science. I'm very happy to not be an ignorant person, but according to the Bible, according to the Judeo-Christian God, ignorance is bliss.